good morning um, I wanted to do like a quick get ready with me <laughs> I say quick but then I start talking and I get sort of you know behind so this is going to be like a summer bronzy look if you've seen the thumbnail for this video you, you kind of got an idea what it's going to look like um, I do have some some breakouts um, I just did wash my face and moisturized it I used the Cetaphil oil whatever it is like oil control to start off we're just going to use my uh, elf face primer uh, and i just like to use it especially where i see the most like oil problems which of course is like in my t-zone this what um, a lot of people don't use primer i think it's mainly because they really don't know like what the benefits of primer is so it pretty much evens out like your skin like your pores and stuff so you know like your foundation doesn't settle in your pores it just like sort of leaves a nice veil so it makes it a good little base for you to put your foundation on so we're going to go in with the foundation and I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match. This is in shade, I think, W7. Yep, W7. Um, my skin is sort of more on the neutral side. I wouldn't necessarily say that it's warm. I don't know. A lot of people say I'm olive skin tone. And I'm just wetting my beauty blender with my um, water sprayer. <laughs> it's been a little while since I've done a makeup tutorial. <laughs> Normally I just wait underneath the sink, but just for this, I'm just gonna do it like that. And this is a brand new one. So pretty, so pretty and shiny. If you wanna know how to actually clean these suckers, I did make a video um, in the past about how to do that. I'll definitely link it above. So I'm just going to dot this on the back of my hand. I like to see it instead of just pouring it onto my beauty blender so i'm just going to dab some of that <laughs> and i really like this foundation if you're looking for something that's kind of versatile and by versatile i mean that um you can get sort of like a sheer coverage like a medium coverage to full coverage I definitely suggest this one because you can blend it so you can do a layer of foundation and you can you know add another layer of this foundation on top and it won't be cakey and it won't feel heavy like you have a lot of stuff on your face but you'll get more coverage with this so I definitely like this formula it feels really good it's not heavy at all so if you're looking for something drugstore that can give you that, then yeah, this is definitely, yeah. I do like my, um, I like L'Oreal in general, their foundation, but I do like the Pro Matte, because I am, um, I am oily, so I do like their Pro Matte Longwear, whatever it's called. Where's it at? Infallible, yeah. I do, I do really, really like this one. Um, I'd probably never even use that the new pro glow because of course i'm oily i don't need any help glowing <laughs> so i'll probably never try that one that's for more people that have um sort of maybe combination to dry skin I'm leaning more towards dry skin and do not look at my hair i haven't done a thing to my hair <laughs> i normally when i um i'm actually going to pick up some groceries and just different stuff that we need so I normally just throw on something and just throw my hair up in a big ball on top of my head and just go. And I'll put on a hat maybe sometimes. I hardly ever put on makeup. But I was like, you know what, girl? You got all this makeup. Put some on your face. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer. I did just pick up two new concealers by NYX. It is the yellow one and the darkest shade that they had, which is 08. 
So I'm gonna try to use this for contouring. We're gonna see how that goes, but I definitely wanted the yellow. I love yellow under the eye. Um, that's definitely something new if you've never used it before. Some people combine their, you know, their color concealer with the yellow. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna put the yellow under my eyes. But I'm also going to use my other NYX, which is in the shade 04 to um, highlight around my nose. I don't know about the yellow up there. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go in with the yellow underneath my eye. This is the first time I'm using it. Shabam. Yellow definitely helps with adding brightness. So if you're having some struggles with dark under eyes, highly suggest this. I also really like, and um, I want to say it's by It Cosmetics, if I'm not mistaken. If I can find a picture online, I'll definitely link it. But um, it's the like quad palette, and I have a Wet n Wild one that I can show you. It's like the ah, it's like this, but it was by It Cosmetics. This is cream, and I'm pretty sure that one's cream too. But the yellow underneath your eye in the It Cosmetics, oh my god. It is like the best thing ever for um, adding some brightness to your face. Wasn't too pleased with that Wet n Wild, the consistency of it. I didn't feel like it was thick enough. But the it, it Cosmetics was just like bomb. I loved it going underneath um, like my contour color. Mm, it like carved it out so beautifully. I'm liking this. This isn't too thick and it's not too watery either. Like that, the Wet n Wild was just sort of, it went on kind of, kind of great. And then as I blended it out, I felt like it was just like disappearing and I couldn't even see it. For under my eyes, I wanted to use this one, which I never use. It's the Wet n Wild Contour Palette, which a lot of people are crazy about. Um, they have another shade that I wish I would have bought instead of this one another shade combo it was like more yellow and more brown so I'm definitely going to try that out when I find it I think it's five dollars but I'm going to try this lighter shade underneath my eye just to set that powder if I can find my brush there you are just gonna pat and there I really like this brush for setting underneath my eye because I feel like it just gets right in there and does its job. This is a BH Cosmetics brush. I can link these brushes down below. I am obsessed. This come in like a 10 piece face sculpting set. If you ever see me using any of these black and gold brushes, they're BH Cosmetics. They are definitely not Sigma. I just could never pay that for a brush. So there's that. Now I'm just going to go in and do all the rest of the the highlighting. I'm going to go in with another one of my BH Cosmetics brushes. This is 113, which is 113, and then the one I used under my eye was 115. Now, the new powder that I got is the the NYX HD translucent finishing powder. I'm scared it's going to leave. I'm always super scared of the powder leaving like a white cast over my face like the translucent powders. And since I get oily, I mean, hey, why not? Let's just 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 put it everywhere. And I'm just going to go do and do my So I've been using the NYX Tame and Frame pomade so i'm just gonna go off off camera and do these because it takes me like forever to do <laughs> so i'm just going to take a little bit of the concealer and just dot it on and i'm just going to use this sort of as a base like as a primer i also am going to go in with this eyeshadow base and it is by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. Got it in an Ipsy package. Just gonna take it with my finger. It's like a gold, 
It doesn't say what color it is. That would be so nice if it said. Oh, submissive. <laughs> submissive, which is just sort of like a gold tone. I'm just gonna take that and just put it all over the lid. I'm going to go in with a transition shade and for my tra for my transition shade I'm actually going to be using the bronzer that I'm going to use later on but it is the NYX matte bronzer in the shade deep tan this is my favorite ever in life and I'm just going to take my blending brush and we're just going to go in with the crease really need to do my eyebrows I didn't realize they were this bad I did my husband's last night, so I probably would have been smart to do my own, you know. So, now that I have added that in, I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is probably, probably, probably their most popular palette. It's got really, really pretty colors in it. And I'm going to take this crease labeled color right here on the left hand side. Dab that in there a little bit and just stick this right in the crease. We don't want to take this out too far. I just wanted a little bit more of a brown color right here. So I don't want to go up too high with this one. Just gonna focus it on the inner, the outer, the outer corner there. a combination of these two which one is this this is a cream pigment from hikari i want to say i also got this in a ipsy bag and it's in the color mink and it's a really pretty like a rose gold bronzy color so i want to take that and put it on my lid and i'm going to use my finger because i just find this the easiest to apply colors on your lid to get like the maximum pigment and I am also going to dust a little bit of gold over that this is by Nomad also another thing that I got in an Ipsy package gotta love Ipsy and I'm going to take this with a flat brush because I just want to get this in a specific spot I'm just going to take a flat brush pack some on that and I'm just going to go right here with it. Just gives me a little pop there at the right above my right above the iris, the center of your eyeball there. Now I'm going to do before I do my under eye, I'm going to do contour. Really don't think this color is dark enough for me. And I'm going to take... Where's my brush? I'm going to take my flat top Kabuki brush. And the matte bronzer I was talking about earlier. Now we're going to go and do the under eye. Um, I'm actually going to go in first and let's curl these lashes. And I'm just going to go ahead and put on some mascara. The mascara I'll be using today I actually received from CoverGirl and Influencer. Thank you very much. Um, it is the Fiber... I'm going to pick it up and show you for sure. I haven't used it just yet. Really excited. The reviews were really good. So we're going to do it on one, on one lash first. And then we're going to go in with the other ones. But it's the Super Size Fibers by CoverGirl. And of course, if you guys have been watching me, you know I love these little 
detailed brushes and this one sort of goes out towards the end which will make it super easy to get those little lashes there in the corners of your eyes so we're going to go in first with this eye this mascara like can you see the dimension like you can't even see my lashes but look okay cover girl I see you I'm loving 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 and I'm gonna go in with some blush and some highlights so then I'm gonna go in after that and just do my bottom lash line this is the Mary Kay bold berry blush one of my favorite blushes she's my little blush brush this stuff is like super pigmented <laughs> not as pigmented I would say as my elf blush that I have the little quad packet that stuff is serious so now that that has dried we're going to go in the bottom lash line I'm just gonna take this little flat blender like brush and take my bronzer and go in this is a lot smarter to do before you put your mascara on but I was talking and not paying attention so okay highlight then we're done just gonna use the Mary Luminizer the little sample -y packet of that with my little highlighting brush I hadn't even thought about my lips. Probably gonna do a nudie color. Liking this um, L'Oreal Infallible or L'Oreal Paris. It's like a, it's Everlasting Caramel. It's in shade 201. Um, it's like a two-step liquid lipstick kind of thing. Do I want this color? I do really like the, are these CoverGirl? Superstay, no, they're Maybelline. I really like these Superstay 24 hour colors. Like these are probably my favorite drugstore ones. Um, so I might, these are a little darker, which I think I need something a little darker. Let's go in with this one. I'm top of this. This one is Unlimited Raisin. You can't see that, it's like super small. And it's the same thing. It's like the two. Woo! I don't know how these two are going to react together. <laughs> I think I'm liking that color combination. Let that lip dry, and then I'll go in with the second. The second half. everything so I just wanted to hop on and say thank you for watching I hope this wasn't too terribly long um, I don't normally do all of this you know when I'm getting ready like I said half the time I don't even wear makeup but I did wanted to come on here real quickly um, and just tell you hope you enjoyed it definitely hit that like button and subscribe comment down below if you want to see more makeup themed videos there are tons and tons of makeup youtubers out there I am not at all trying to say that I am like professional at this whatsoever. I am a licensed cosmetologist, but of course hair is what I um, 
I love most out of the whole cosmetology field. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching. <laughs>